good evening everyone the sunday evening and i think a lot of you have joined i thank you a big thanks to all of you for joining and we'll we will just start for start uh, i'll just share the screen so we'll just uh, start with a technical discussion only this time i don't have any theory or, uh, i don't have any presentation uh, we will just discuss as we see the charts okay uh, there was a question a few days back in our special group this question was regarding dalmia bar so there is a typical formation or a typical thing that happened in dalmia barat which led me to organize this seminar and uh, i will show you what happens uh, based on this i will show you what happens when you know there is an ipo most of the times what happens is good ipos you good ipos are subscribed 100 times 200 times i mean 60 70 times minimum and most of the times even if you multiply from multiple accounts you don't get an allotment of the shares so then after few days or the same day people try to jump the bandwagon when the you know sky the price is skyrocketing and as soon as you buy that then the price starts to fall so let me explain you what happens when an ipo is listed what happens when uh, we what is the right time to enter or buy the stock during this uh, initial euphoria or when to buy the stock if the, when the euphoria is died down or to buy the stock after a particular level is breached so directly coming on to dalmia bharat chart which was the center point of uh, discussion on that day from where the whole thing started so if you look at the dalmia bharat chart this list this company listed in uh, in january 2019 okay 21st january 2019 and it started i think uh, on the same day it on the same week i think it opened at 860 it went up to 1000 and then it closed around 995 in the beginning week itself now what happens as you see over here the price goes up to 1290 okay so 1290 it goes then the price comes down again it tries to go goes near 1219 then again it comes back comes back comes back falls a lot falls almost to the 1/3 level of 1290 it went down up to the level of 402 okay then again it starts going up starts going back up 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 and once it crosses that initial resistance which was made of 1219 or, or 1220 levels that is the time exactly the time when the price skyrockets and within a short period of time that is from february to july the prices has almost doubled so now is this a pattern let us try to find out if this is a pattern or this is something that was unique to dalmia bharat share so let us let us have a look at some recent listings say craftsman automation company uh, this is a weekly chart so let it is a new listing so let us do it on daily chart now this is a daily chart of craftsman automation now what happened over here in the uh, the company listed in april uh, it listed at uh, it opened at 1359 1359 the next day, next week it went up to 1530 so after reaching 1530 level what happens is there is a correction just like what we saw in dalmia bharat and it comes down it did not fall as much here uh, to the level of dalmia bharat but it came down to the level of 1 to 6 6 or the lowest it reached was uh, as per the chart 1 uh, to 4 5 so it came down up to 1 to 4 5 started again consolidating 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 and once it crossed this level it consolidated a little more and then what happens is the price skyrockets 
and within again a short time from 25th may to uh, 5th july the price has increased from the level of from the level of say 1400 to 1400 to 2000 levels and then again there was little bit of consolidation and then again the price went up to 2050 level 1800 to 2050 level so what we see over here is we'll delete this line it is useless right now and we'll change the color what what we see over here is that a peak is formed and then there is a kind of consolidation we will treat this phase also as consolidation i will just draw the line properly so uh, a peak is formed and then there is consolidation again they it tries to break the peak over here it broke it but it did not sustain the breakout and there was more consolidation more consolidation and then again it when it crosses the price over here it the price just skyrockets to another level minimum 15 20 30 40 sometimes 100 or 200 percent level so what is important for us is this area this area the peaks that are formed during the initial hello hello yeah someone is talking someone has a question yeah, can you please uh, mute your mic yeah so the important levels for a stock when it is listed is the initial phase of euphoria the peak formed during euphoria over here when it is breached with a proper weekly candle then is the time when the price skyrockets or the skyrocket starts so now you saw it happening in uh, dalmia bharat you saw it happening in craftsman automation now have a let us we'll have we'll have a quick look at lot of companies that were listed recently so now let us look at lakshmi organics lakshmi organic was listed uh, during march 2021 in the first few weeks it stayed near the price of listing and then there was consolidation and a peak was made on may 4th you can say i even if you consider this as a peak it's fine when it crosses this level you see an upward movement so in some cases one peak is formed then there is consolidation in some cases two peaks are formed like over here if you consider this one peak this is the second peak then there is consolidation and after consolidation the price just when it goes past this consolidated level the price goes to another level so a few days back i had given a call uh, regarding lakshmi organic in special group this was the time when it breached the previous level previous peak so at that time i said that okay now uh, you can buy lakshmi organic and that was the time from that time to today till uh, friday i think the price has grown by Uh, around ten percent in few days, okay. In few days, it went from two forty level to two sixty level, and I feel more is yet to come. Now, what happened in Anupam Rasayan? Anupam Rasayan, a very similar thing. Uh, this is when the company was listed, and then there was a, a peak formed over here. You can say this was the peak formed. the price consolidated in the range of the peak this was the bottom and this was the peak that was formed so price consolidated in this range and now what is going to happen is it is going to give a breakout or it has already given a breakout over here so you see this was if you consider a uh, candle itself it has already given a breakout and if you can even consider the wick of the candle it has again gone the price is above the wick also so it has actually given a breakout and anupam rasayan is a company which we can buy you can see here a slight improvement in volume also with this candle so this is the company which we feel if the results are good the prices can go shoot up like anything like many cases that we saw so mark this company anupam rasayan as an educational pick which can really grow 10 15 13 40 or 
maybe 50% or maybe even 100% from this level because it has reached the peak consolidated and now it has started moving up with these two candles similarly if you take the case of uh, is my trip so uh, similar you remember we had given the customers who are there in our special group those who are there you know special group from a long time they know that we had given is my trip around 230 level so the reason of giving is my trip around 230 level is that this was the peak formed during euphoria that was 230 then the price came below consolidated 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 and post consolidation when it crossed 230 that was the initial euphoria phase that is the time when in few days from 230 the price has gone to to 440 levels so almost 100 percent returns here in a short period of time from may to june so right so everyone has to remember this that when a price of share is coming near or crossing the ipo level the listing level price the listing level euphoria peak that is the time when you should at least make initial investment or take steps to invest in the company more often than not more often than not you will get handsome returns for it let us check what happened to Mata technology Mata made a peak over here that is around uh, 1154 <laughs> when it crosses 1154 here here after consolidation look where Mata is right now and we feel that more is to come it has already given 10 20 percent return and more is to come and when you get such handsome returns what you do is we will discuss this as a separate subject in some other uh, webinar that we take uh, there were questions regarding trailing stop loss so now i will increase my trailing uh, trailing stop loss to one triple three or at least till one two eight zero so when the price of the share that you buy goes up you keep increasing the trailing stop loss just as i did right now so this is the same thing a very similar thing happened in Mata technology what we saw in the other companies well again is it a fluke let us see in one more company what is going to oh, what is happening there was a peak made okay now this share is in consolidation phase but the right time to enter it will be when it comes near 899 900 level that is the time when i will enter this share let us have a look at another share so after a make after making a peak now this is going to consolidate in this range and once it crosses this 8 8 uh, 180 190 level that is the time i will enter this new reka this is the peak that was formed it crossed the peak and ran wild from 767 to the level of one for almost 100 percent again returns in few days how many days one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven days in eleven days the price goes from 737 to 1473 you see the power of breaking the ipo peak stowcraft what is happening in stowcraft stowcraft this was the peak peak was 549 so above 549 it was going to rocket that is the time when i suggested in the happy candles group free group as well as in the paid group i suggested stowcraft at around this uh, this price and uh, this price or this price i don't know Did you, I, I yeah it was around 18 june that it went up again made another peak then it came back to test the support of 50 ma over here and this was the time around 18 june when i said that okay now this stock is good enough for buying and from 530 540 550 levels what happens is in a short phase of few days seven eight days the price goes up to 786 rupees so you see the power of breaking the 
IPO time euphoria peak. This is what happened. Now, similar to there was one uh, Anupam Rasayan which we told, right? That it is going to break. Now, can anyone open the mic and tell me what is happening over here? Home First Finance. Let us have a little bit of interaction, guys. Can anyone tell me what is going after what level would you like to enter Home First Finance? It is yet to break. Uh, actually, after six thirty-nine, we need to enter. Right. Right. So and this actually, is the time. Uh, uh, Pardon, somebody is speaking. Uh, speak, please speak loudly. I have this share at the uh, price of five hundred rupees. You have this share at the price of five hundred rupees, but somebody yes. else is going to have. uh it at the price of 600 or 650 and in few days it is going to go to 800 or 700 or 900 and you are waiting with the share with the price of 500 since a few days right yes yes so uh, this is not about the company way. or fundamental of the company or what to do with the company this is an idea which i am trying to transfer that when a price crosses the initial ipo peak or ipo euphoria peak that is the time that is a golden opportunity you need not miss more often than not more often than not because you will enter with a stop loss so okay i will enter over here i will keep this 580 as a stop loss uh, around 618 if by chance a breakout fails and it consolidates further more i will see i will look at the fundamentals and decide uh, whether i need to wait further or whether i need to uh, sell and pick some other things but there are multiple factors which you need to look at this is not the only one thing that you are looking at right so here what happens in home first finance you see is that okay this, it is near the peak it already tried to break the 618 on friday but it was not successful and the price ended at 598 now what else is happening over here can you see it is also having the support of 50 ema so this is a solid support i told you in one of the webinars that the support of 50 ema is a solid support so if it comes back from this price it will not go below this so i know that plus there is a third thing which i had told you in one of the webinars is the volume so you can you see the volume over here guys this histograms green histograms Yes, yes or no? So there yes, are yes. three things in favor of it going and growing above these lines: are one volume, two fifty EMA, and three the price that is going to be broken. So is this the right time to enter home first finance, guys? Can you tell me? Hello, some interaction, please. After breaking six three nine would be the correct strategy. Yes, I agree. I agree. Even a small position can be initiated early Monday because I think more often than not Monday itself it is going to touch this level or break this level. Small position on Monday morning, confirm big position after it confirms a candle over here above six thirty nine. You will see that the price will go. 10 15 20 percent more often often uh, quite possibly so you can do paper trading with that uh, let us have a look at some other things indigo paints indigo paints had made a peak of 3333 so we have a long time to wait it is consolidating when it will come to this level we'll think about it irfc again when it comes to 26.7 level we'll think about it Anthony Waste, Anthony Waste again has some distance to go. It is in the consolidation phase, so we think about it later. Burger King, Burger King, you can see as the peak approaches, as the peak is near by ten, twenty, twenty-five percent, you can see the volume start to go go up here over here. You can see the volume; it is starting to grow up and go up. Yeah. Yes, sir. so this is the time when burger king prices also will go up sensing that it will break this level 
Burger King is yet not ready, but we should have keep look at this stock. And once it crosses some critical levels, or once the volume start to increase, that is the time when we get into this stock. Mrs. Bactors, Mrs. Bactors is a nice stock. It is a nice company. I am waiting for it, and I am one hundred percent sure it will uh, go back to six hundred four. and it will go up to 800 900000 uh, levels but it is yet to confirm the same on volumes and confirm the same on our theory of crossing the ipo peak price so we'll wait before we enter vectors food kalyan jewelers kalyan jewelers after it conquered the peak it went from 80 to 90 in a short span of 3 4 days So around 15% return it gave. Now again it is in the consolidation phase, and once it crosses 80, 81 level, we are sure that it is going to go to 90. Now whether it is going to go more than 90 or not, uh, we have to see. We need to do a fundamental analysis of Kalyan Jewelers, which I am not com the company jewelry business. I am not very comfortable with, so I don't know the fundamentals of this company right now, but. purely on technicals when it crosses 81 it can go up <laughs> now the suryodaya bank is yet to come near the peak so we'll not discuss about this this rangoli telecom limited i am not sure again about the fundamentals of this company but you know what it did is it this was the peak when it crossed the peak it just went crazy from 240 levels to what is it now 774 levels crazy run once it crossed the ipo peak crazy crazy run this company did and i don't know i just while i was studying this ipo it came under my radar it just escaped my eyes also otherwise it would have been great if i would have recommended it to some of my clients A lot of people would have made lot of money but this is something which i missed even i don't know about this company and i never studied fundamental of this company again now if you look at gland pharma one of the stories that we are following since long we had given it around again around uh, 2004 or 5 levels and it has gone crazy uh, it made an ipo peak over here around 2500 levels consolidation consolidation it broke the uh, broke the level and went up to 2700 again little bit of consolidation phase and then it made a peak of 3600 or so yeah 3515 so these are very important level guys always track the shares and when it comes near the crossing the ipo peaks make sure that you enter the share at least with a small quantity let us have a uh, example of some other listings of this year or last year i think we'll cover all the listings that we made in uh, 2021 and 2020 so we don't miss out on any golden opportunity that might be there okay crossing the ipo peak uh, consolidation consolidation and once it consolidated around 40 boom it went in few days to 64 now it is again consolidated now 64 can be taken as a nice peak again it is consolidating over here and once it crosses this level of say 68.1 that will again be the time to enter it uh, with a proper candle and proper volumes are also increasing over here so if it crosses this and gives a proper one week or uh, one day candle over this price it might be a good time or good chance to enter this counter equitas bank must go dog similar thing happened ipo peak ipo peak ipo peak and it crossed the ipo peak just boom in one day it made an upper circuit and went up to almost 300 so from uh, 230 level to 300 level in Nine one day or in four days okay going to the next uh, this thing uti asset management ipop consolidation ipop consolidation and then boom the price goes just crazy crazy once it crosses this kind of peak it goes crazy and it went up to 
919 and again it is in the phase of consolidation now angel broking another crazy run after it crossed the ipo peak you see the ipo peak made over here okay it came over here consolidated and then this was the peak which it reached the peak was 408 okay then it stayed from december till <laughs> may under 408 but once it crossed 408 over here on 5th may when it crossed 408 you see what happened in between 5th may so may june july two months 408 to 960 almost 1000 levels guys this is the power of identifying the peak made during ipo euphoria and entering the stock when it is crossing this peak chemcon specialties is nowhere near the ipo peak another crazy story of breaking the ipo peak camps look what happens in camps ipo peak was made consolidation just below it and when it went above 1500 i think we have recommended can since the level of uh, 1800 i think no not 1500 we recommended it at around this level when it was taking somewhere over here in april so we missed it we missed the journey in december but uh, this is how it consolidated and uh, then boom till 1800 consolidated near 1800 1900 levels boom 2800 3000 levels right so you understand the magic of the peaks made during ipo listing root mobile another crazy story going on this was the peak it crossed the peak consolidated boom boom 2000 plus this is one of our biggest success stories i think uh, we recommended uh, happiest mind around this level in february when it was 370 and now it is around 209 levels so it is a multi bagger recommended by happy candles in the month of february when there was this was the peak that was made and when it crossed this peak it just went berserk berserk and it has reached the level of 1200 plus right now it's a very good stock which is right now again consolidating maybe it will go on to another level of 1600 or so rosario biotech what happened in rosario biotech ipo peak was made consolidation boom it all almost went till 1350 levels again now right now it's consolidating i think rosario biotech uh, should get support somewhere over here okay this is just off the topic i think it's, it's a good stock uh not portfolio big but certainly a long-term investment pick we can keep yeah. thousand as a stop loss and you can enter this uh, if it crosses the uh, 50 ema about, about around 12 000, if it gives a closing about 1200 rupees this is the stock that you can enter sbi cards sbi cards sbi card something similar happened over here this was the ipo peak that happened somewhere over here let us shift it a little above and once it crossed the price it again came back uh, this is a typical case it came back tested it and then it went back. so sometimes when you buy over here and you feel that okay it was supposed to skyrocket from here but it again the price came down so maybe it has come down to test the level test the support again and then sooner or later it will go boom okay so this was and dalmia bharat we started our story with dalmia bharat so this was again what happened in dalmia bharat one stock which i feel you should buy for paper trading uh this on purpose i kept last is nazara technologies you know that mr rakesh the mm. bull junjunwala has a big stake in this company and mm. The IPO peak is around 2024 and with the volumes that it is getting over here, 
with the MACD that is turning positive and the candles that it is making, it has also come out of a downturn which started in May. It has come out of that and it is crossing it is crossing resistance after resistance. So a small quantity can be entered. Once it crosses 1840, you can buy more. Once it crosses 8950, buy in SIP mode, you can buy more. And once it crosses 1996, you can buy your final and then just see the magic of crossing the IPO line. And you will see your your investment grow in a fantastic way. So this is the stock which we recommend for paper trading. And it is coming the, near the level. You can either you can wait and start after it gives a candle above this, or you can start SIP buying this. If it comes, or oh, you can buy over here. If it goes down near uh, 50 EMA support, you can buy more. Again, when it comes around this level, you buy again. And once it goes above 2000, make sure that you have Nazara in your portfolio. This is a long term portfolio pick, guys. So this was very quick. Uh, I hope that uh, you guys uh, enjoyed this session as promised that it is going to be a short and sweet session. So I open the mic for questions guys. If you have any questions, uh, let me know or we can close the webinar for the evening. And let me know. Let, uh, let me know how you liked it. Also, give your feedback in the respective groups that you are in. Sir, yes, really Raju. Great, sir. sir, happy Asadi Beach. Thank you very much. It is a Kachi <laughs> New Year. Happy Asadi Beach to you also. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Uh, very, very nice uh, uh, explanation, sir. Uh, now I certain things. I mean, this is an easy way to make money and uh, really. <laughs> Nobody, nobody, you know, mostly people don't tell these trick, tips and tricks. But at Happy Candles, we feel that you guys are family. So, I mean, there is no secret between uh, Happy Candles customers. <laughs> <and> <laughs> so, two two things, Nazara and uh, home, first, home First Finance. These two are now... Look, uh, look, look very exciting. exciting. Look very... And Anupam yeah. also. Anupam Rasan. Yeah, okay. I yeah. didn't... I was... I missed that chat. Maybe okay. I, I will enter the okay. These two things, uh, Nazara and Home First, look really, really good right now. Okay. And fundamentally, also, both are good companies. Yeah, P is a little bit high, but you know, <laughs> P, P nowadays is uh, something which market has accepted high P ratio okay. for some companies. Good shall. Okay. Namaste, sir. Uh, how are you, Vishal? Vishal, Vishal, what do you think uh, the market is going to correct? or Because now, now there is no trigger left in the market. So overall, how do you see this? Sir, overall, uh, I see once it might go to 16,400 levels. If you see the US dollar is also... Uh, US dollar, uh, Indian rupee is appreciating. So again, that is not a very good sign for a strong bull run, you know, because when the rupee is appreciating, FII's tend to withdraw the money. Lot of DII and FII are sitting on the sideline with piles and piles and piles of cash. So that is again an issue which there, there are some strong bulls who want to make it reach at least 16,400. But uh, the factors, as you said, rightly said, are not helping it to cross even, you know, uh, 15,916. So next week is critical. Maybe it will go give one week till 16,400 and then uh, it will come back to these levels. But 15,500 is a very good support and below it, 15,000 is a very good support. You are right, you are right. Thank you. No, My sir, pleasure, sir. sir. My pleasure. Vishal ji. Yes, Mahesh bhai. Namaste. Uh, namaste, namaste. 
most of us we missed the ipo bus we all know when when the ipo gets subscribed to at the time the time whatever so indication when it gets listed of course most of people uh, try to you know capitalize on the listing gain so and and then based on what you just uh, showed us you know uh, the prices start falling down so is there a indication or a trigger you know for for a, a, a person who has missed the ipo to start picking up if it is a promising company ah uh, yes as i said in this case the best trigger will be uh, let the company cross the ipo highs it made that is that is the best trigger or if you are bold enough you know you trust the company a lot then you know a bottom is formed over here you can see nazara a bottom is being formed over here so you know that this price 1470 uh, level it is not breaking under any circumstances because 1470 was not broken since april okay it listed around uh, march and after listing it did not break this 1400 levels so you know that 1400 levels is the bottom and you can start bottom fishing over here the second thing is once it comes above the 50 day ema so this is another fantastic support so you can start buying over here lot of people started buying over here in this range so that you can see the volumes growing over here so lot of people started buying over here and this was the uh, negative after the ipo was listed this was a downturn you can see this downturn the price was hitting this line blue line and going down price was yeah, hitting this yeah, blue yeah. line and going down so it broke the blue line finally around this with volume so that was the time when you can enter and that was the time no, when i recommended this yeah. stock in the special group exactly at this time i recommended the stock and it started going up i think only one minute is left if you guys are interested in question and answer we can continue one more round or we can give close it the day over here one one quick question mishal if you don't mind and this yeah. will benefit for everybody now let's yeah. let's take an example of this new ipo clean clean science or whatever it is okay we just okay. taking a uh, hypothetical example of clean ipo once it gets listed of course by the historical thing that we just saw it will start uh, people who are going for listing gains okay will start selling and stuff the prices